cryptids or creatures believed to exist by witnesses and by folklore. Throughout history and all over the world, there are legends and cryptids said to exist. Cryptozoology is a pseudoscience. Creatures given the benefit of the doubt for possibly existing, but not fully recognized as existing, for their elusive nature and rare sightings. All over the world and during different time periods, people have reported seeing unexplained creatures. In this video, we will explore these cryptids, myths, and legends by diving into the cryptid's iceberg. Join me in this video as we explore the world of cryptids. Bigfoot Also known as Sasquatch, Bigfoot is one of the most well-known and acknowledged North American cryptids. Bigfoot is known as a large, hairy, brown, reddish, ape-like creature that lives in the wilderness of North America. More particularly, it is said to roam around the Pacific Northwest. Sightings of Bigfoot are said to go as far back as the mid-20th century during westward expansion and urbanization of previously wooded areas. Some people believe that Bigfoot has some sort of connection to Native American tribes and may not be a single creature, but instead a very small population of Sasquatches that live deep in the wilderness. Loch Ness Monster Also known as Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster is said to be an aquatic entity that resides in Lake Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands. The Loch Ness Monster is said to be a large dinosaur-like creature with a long neck and one or multiple humps that are exposed from the water when it rises. Worldwide attention of the Loch Ness Monster was around 1933, but sightings of Nessie go as far back as the 7th century. Yeti Also known as the Abominable Snowman, the Yeti is similar to Bigfoot in appearance and elusiveness. The Yeti, however, has been sighted in a variety of colors including brown, gray, black, or white. The Yeti is said to reside primarily deep in the Himalayan mountain range in Asia. Some Sherpa communities have the Yeti ingrained into their folklore and even claim that there are three main species of Yeti that vary in appearance and size. The Yeti are believed to live very high up in the Himalayas, which ranks among the highest mountain ranges in the world. Sightings go as far back as predating Buddhism, which was founded in the 5th century BCE. Pre-Buddhist Tibetan folklore has legend of a glacier being who roamed the mountains. Kraken The Kraken is said to be a sea monster of enormous size that roamed the seas between Norway and Iceland. The Kraken is said to resemble a large cephalopod or squid-like creature. The earliest reports of the Kraken are around the early 1700s where sailors were allegedly attacked and fought off a colossal man-eating squid. Some people believe that sailors and reports of the Kraken were just early sightings of the giant squid. Jersey Devil Also known as Leeds Devil, the Jersey Devil is a creature that is described as a flying bipedal creature with the head of a goat, bat-like wings, small clawed hands, hooved legs, and a forked tail. The Jersey Devil is said to possess quick speed, the ability to fly, and emits a high-pitched, blood-curdling scream. The Jersey Devil sightings can be traced back to 1753 in Leeds Point, New Jersey, where the Jersey Devil's origins are linked to a woman named Jane Leeds, who apparently cursed her 13th pregnancy and cursed her child to be the devil. Jane went on to give birth to a normal baby, which transformed into the Jersey Devil right in front of everyone present for the birth and fled the home. Lore of the Jersey Devil goes deeper and even states that Jane Leeds was a witch who frequently participated in dark magic and that the father of her 13th pregnancy was the devil himself. Chupacabra The Chupacabra is a creature said to drink the blood of livestock. The name Chupacabra literally translates to goat sucker in Spanish. It is primarily seen in Latin America and the southwestern portion of the US and has even been seen in Puerto Rico. Descriptions of the chupacabra vary, with some descriptions being a heavy-set reptilian creature about the size of a small bear with a row of spikes down its back, and some descriptions make it more of a dog-like creature. Strangely, the chupacabra has been seen as far north as Maine and as far south as the country of Chile, and even as far as a couple sightings in Eastern Europe and the Philippines. The chupacabra is said to attack livestock and completely drain them of their blood. Jackalope The jackalope is a creature believed to be a jackrabbit with antlers. Stories and sightings of the jackalope can be found all over the world, from 13th century Persia to medieval Europe and even modern day North America. 
Some people believe that the jackalope may actually be a real creature, but not necessarily a true mythic cryptid like folklore states, but instead sightings of jackalopes are just rabbits or hares with a shop papilloma infection, which can cause rabbits to grow tumors and horn-like extremities. Mothman Mothman was a humanoid creature seen multiple times for about a year. In 1967, in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, Mothman is described as being a large, black creature with glowing red eyes and large wings the size of its entire body, which is believed to stand at around 7 feet tall. People who have ran into or sighted the Mothman claim that its eyes have a hypnotic effect that makes the person feel as though they are in a trance. It is also said to emit a very high-pitched screeching sound and has left behind a legacy as one of the most well-known cryptids and being a popular figure in the Point Pleasant area. Megalodon While it is now scientifically recognized as an extinct species of prehistoric shark, Megalodon was a cryptid who was believed to be an enormous shark reaching up to about 52 feet in length. Although there has been uncovered evidence such as Megalodon teeth, some people believe that there may be some Megalodons still alive deep in the sea, or that the true Megalodon is actually a single colossal sized shark that has yet to be discovered. Fresno Nightcrawlers The Fresno Nightcrawlers are encrypted, seen a couple of times in California, Montana, and even Poland. The Nightcrawlers are described as small, white, humanoid creatures whose bodies are made up primarily of its legs which goes straight to their head and have no arms. The creature is said to walk by bending its knees backwards and walking in an awkward way. Skunk Ape The Skunk Ape is a lesser known cryptid than Bigfoot, but similar to Bigfoot. Sometimes called the cousin of Bigfoot, the Skunk Ape is said to be a large human ape-like creature that lives deep in the woody swamps of the Deep South in the United States, and more specifically in Florida. Although a lot less popular than Bigfoot, it has its own community of people who believe in the skunk ape and recognize it as its own entity. The skunk ape is described as being around 5 to 7 feet tall and being covered in reddish brown hair and is known for having an incredibly pungent and horrid odor that can be smelled before he is seen, earning him the nickname skunk ape. Reports of the skunk ape being sighted go as far back as 1818. Thunderbird The Thunderbird is a mythical bird creature slash spirit that is said to be an enormous bird of prey mentioned in Native American history and culture. Native American folklore states that the Thunderbirds were so large and powerful that flaps of their wings could create thunderstorms and rain. Interestingly enough, tribes of Native Americans as far north as Alaska and as far south as Central America have mentioned a bird fitting the description of the Thunderbird. During westward expansion, some pioneers also claimed to have seen unbelievably large birds soaring through the sky. Michigan Dogman The Michigan Dogman is a cryptid said to exist in multiple parts of Michigan and has multiple reports of sightings. The Michigan Dogman is described as being a 7 foot tall creature with the body of a human man and the head of a dog or a wolf. He is said to have blue or amber eyes. There is not a vast amount of sightings but some reports of the Dogman go as far back as the late 1800s and some around the mid 1900s. The Michigan Dogman may be a very old creature because it is said to have been seen by the Ottawa Native American tribes as well. Owl Man Also called the Cornish Owl Man or the Owl Man of Monan, the Owl Man is a large humanoid creature resembling both an owl and a human man. The Owl Man was seen primarily in the village of Monan in Cornwall, UK. It is sometimes called the English Mothman because of their similar appearances. The Owl Man was seen sporadically throughout the late 1900s, with its first sighting being in 1976 and its last known sighting being in 1995. Wendigo The Wendigo is a malevolent spirit slash creature, being a part of Algonquin-speaking Native American tribes. The Wendigo is often associated with negative emotions and settings such as famine, winter, cold, starvation, evil, and even cannibalism. Although descriptions of Wendigos can vary, they are often described as gaunt and sickly looking creatures that look starved 
They are usually described with pale, ash-colored skin, sunken features, bony frames, and are also said to reek of death and rotting flesh. Some Algonquin cultures believe the Wendigo is a giant who only feeds on humans and grows physically after eating humans, and can even possess humans to commit acts of cannibalism. Dover Demon The Dover Demon is a creature that was only seen from April 21st to April 22nd in 1977 in the town of Dover, Massachusetts. The Dover Demon is described as being a four foot tall being that moved on four legs. It is said to have glowing red eyes and no nose or mouth by having a large watermelon shaped head. The Dover Demon was spotted three separate times by three separate teenagers who did not know each other and one of the teenagers even went as far as to swear on the Bible about seeing the creature. Hopkinsville Gobble More often recognized as an alien encounter than a cryptid encounter, the Hopkinsville Gobble is an encounter where a family at a farmhouse in Hopkinsville, Kentucky reported they were visited by a couple of small floating goblin-like creatures that made their way into the farmhouse. The goblins were described as being three feet tall with large pointy ears, claw-like hands, glowing yellow eyes, and silvery skin. The family fended off the goblins and shot up their home. The goblins were said to appear in windows and doorways and were not affected by bullets fired at them. Goatman The Maryland Goatman is said to be a goat-human hybrid that lives in the wooded areas of Prince George's County, Maryland in the United States. Descriptions of the Goatman vary between two descriptions, one being a bipedal goat with the face of a human and the other being a goat humanoid and closely resembling fawns or satyrs from Greek mythology. Legend of the Goat Man started around the late 1930s, where the Goat Man was seen following the deaths and disappearances of dogs in the area. It's rumored that Goat Man actually lives in a makeshift hut in the woods near an abandoned trailer park, and that he sometimes leaves his home to hunt and kill anything he sees for sport. Leviathan The Leviathan is an entity mentioned multiple times in the Hebrew Bible. It is mentioned in the Book of Psalms, Job, Isaiah, and Enoch. More so a mythical creature than a cryptid with sightings, the Leviathan is said to be a colossal sea serpent. The Leviathan is believed by Christian theologists to be a testament to the power of God, having been created and allowed to sleep in the deepest parts of the ocean until the rapture, where the Leviathan's purpose for life is pure destruction and wrath against the devil and mankind who denied God. Although different faiths and denominations have different interpretations of the Leviathan, some believe the Leviathan is actually a creation of the devil instead of God. It is generally agreed upon that the Leviathan is a creature that will be revealed in the end of times. Ogopogo The Ogopogo is an aquatic cryptid said to be a lake monster that lives in the Okanagan Lake in British Columbia, Canada. Ogopogo is believed to be a serpent-like creature being as long as 49 feet and can propel itself through the water incredibly fast in a vertical ripping motion. The Ogopogo is closely tied in with Native American mythology for neighboring tribes. Some tribes believe that the Ogopogo is a spirit named Naitaka, which demanded a live sacrifice for safe passage over the lake. And some tribes believe that Naitaka is just a protector of the valley that just resides in the lake, and more specifically that it resides in a cave under a small island in the water named Rattlesnake Island. Caddy Closely related to the last segment, the caddy is short for Cadborosaurus, which is more of an umbrella term for unidentified large serpent-like creatures off the coast of the Pacific Northwest, the Chalice Sea, and in bodies of fresh water in the Pacific Northwest and Canada, which there were actually a lot of sightings of caddy in the early 1900s. Skinwalkers The term skinwalker comes from Navajo culture, where skinwalkers are believed to be harmful and ill-willed witches and sorcerers that, through their practice of dark magic, gain the ability to shapeshift into animals and even mimic voices. Most knowledge of the skinwalker is seen as making them out to be negative and malicious, but many people who are part of the Navajo are actually reluctant to discuss and share the true lore and story of the skinwalkers, since it is supposedly very misunderstood by people outside of the Navajo tribes. Devil Monkey Devil Monkeys are a alleged cryptid species that has been sighted in wooded areas across the US 
What's strange about this is that the U.S. does not have a natural primate-like species in its natural habitats. Duffel monkeys have been seen across the U.S. including Arizona, Utah, Colorado, Pittsburgh, Tennessee, and even northern Mexico. The devil monkeys are described to range from 3 to 4 feet tall and are covered in shaggy, brown-reddish fur. The faces of devil monkeys are also said to closely resemble baboons. They are said to have large fangs and strong hind legs they use to propel themselves forward on and are also said to be very violent. Yeren The Yeren is a Chinese cryptid species believed to inhabit the remote mountains of the Shenangia forest region in the Hubei province. Yeren in English translates to wild men. The Yeren creatures are described as ape-human hybrids and sightings have been reported as far back as the Warring States period in 340 BC. They are said to be savage, strong and fast, only leaving the mountains to raid villages for food or women. China, post Mao Zedong's rule, had a movement called Yeren Fever where scientists and cryptozoologists actively researched the Yeren people with the hope of discovering a new species of cryptid which would become a new animal or discovering a distant relative of modern day humans preserved in the secluded mountains. Mongolian Deathworm The Mongolian Deathworm is a creature believed to exist in the Gobi Desert. The Mongolian Deathworm is described as a large, blood red worm that can reach 7 feet in length. It is believed that the Deathworm can spit out a yellow acid and can even send electrical shocks. Mongolian nomadic tribes believe that the worm targets livestock and humans as food, but seeing as how the death worm is said to live in a very remote and arid part of the Gobi Desert, there is actually very little evidence or sightings of the outside word of mouth. Man Monkey On the evening of January 21st, 1879, a man on horseback was traveling between Birmingham and Liverpool in the UK. Right before he reached a bridge, he said a large black monster approached out of nowhere and grabbed onto his horse's backside. The creature was described as a large humanoid with black fur and white eyes. Resembling a gorilla, the man grabbed his whip and attacked the monster, but surprisingly, his whip went through the monster as if it were a ghost. Realizing he was not dealing with a physical being, the man suspected he must be dealing with a demon or a supernatural entity. The man's horse took off in a frenzy and while looking back and forth at the creature and at the road ahead, the creature had vanished in the blink of an eye. Kappa The Kappa are a Japanese cryptid, and the Kappa are believed to be waterborne spirits, having the appearance of reptilian humanoid creatures, more noticeably having different features and characteristics from real-life aquatic animals. The Kappa are described as being about 4 feet tall and having webbed hands and feet, turtle shells on their backs, faces with beaks said to resemble snapping turtles. Another distinct feature is a dish or depression-like feature on the top of their head that can hold water. And it's believed that if a Kappa ventures out onto land, the Kappa will lose strength if the water is spilled. The Kappa are said to vary in degree of danger, and while some can befriend other creatures and humans, some will commit minor infractions like peeping on women in the river or stealing food, while others are said to take advantage of women, drown humans and animals for fun, and even eat human flesh. Loveland Frogman The Loveland Frogman is a creature that was spotted in Loveland, Ohio, multiple times since the 1950s. They were first spotted in a group of three, where a man driving spotted a group of three bipedal frogs which he described as standing at around four feet tall and having leathery skin in the faces of literal frogs. The Loveland Frogman is well known in the area and has become a popular cryptid. Giant of Kandahar In 2002, during the US invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan, a US Army Special Operations Squad had gone missing in the desert mountains of the Kandahar region in Afghanistan. A secondary squad was sent to investigate and retrieve the missing squad. As the recovery squad approached the entrance of a large cave, they began to notice pieces of broken military equipment and torn uniforms around the entrance. Just as the squad was preparing to enter the cave and investigate further, a 15-foot giant stormed out of the cave entrance and impaled a soldier on a spear. The squad opened fire on the giant, firing at him constantly for about 30 seconds until the giant finally collapsed. According to the story, the giant was airlifted back to the nearest base camp and was quickly flown to an undisclosed location never to be seen again. Supposedly anyone involved with this specific mission and having knowledge of the giant 
was forced to sign a non-disclosure agreement as soon as possible. Beast of Bray Road, also known as the Wisconsin Werewolf, the Beast of Bray Road is a cryptid said to have been seen in the state of Wisconsin. The beast has been described as a hairy humanoid with glowing red eyes or orange eyes, moving on all fours and on two hind legs like a human. It is described as a very large wolf or dog-like creature, but when seen standing, it's estimated to be around 7 feet tall. People who have seen the beast brush it off as being a large wolf or a bear with mange, since bears and wolves are known to live in the area. Strangely, some animals have been found mutilated in the area around Bray Road, with specific organs missing. Some people have also reported being chased by or seeing a large wolf-like creature on two legs when driving down Bray Road late at night. Megaconda In 1948, a group of Brazilian men claimed to have captured an enormous snake in the Amazon rainforest. Measuring 131 feet in length, modern zoologists only recognize the longest a snake can grow as being 34 feet. But seeing as how the Amazon spans 2.2 million square miles and the vast majority of the Amazon rainforest remains unexplored and untouched, it may be possible that the Amazon may be home to snakes and creatures not believed possible. The megaconda that was captured supposedly was large enough to have swallowed a bull whole when the men cut it open. Gevedon Beast The Beast or Beast of Gevedon is the name given to a mysterious creature in south central France during the mid 1760s. The French claimed to see creatures that appeared to be an unidentified canine creature covered in rust colored fur, having dark stripes and a long tail. The beast was said to bound across fields at incredible speeds to attack humans. The French kingdom at the time exhausted a vast amount of resources and manpower to hunt the beast and the beast apparently killed by ripping its victim's throats out and it's estimated that there were 210 attacks and 113 deaths total because of the beast. It is unknown if it was a single beast or a small population of beasts since it was reported to have been killed multiple times only to reappear time and time again after being confirmed dead. Popelik Monster The Popelik Monster is a cryptid said to live under a railroad bridge over Popelik Creek in Louisville, Kentucky. The Popelik monster is said to be a terrible monster that terrorizes people passing through the bridge. It is said to hypnotize or mimic voices that people know, tricking them onto the trestle of the bridge and eventually to their death. It has been said to jump onto cars and just blatantly attack people with a bloody axe it wields. The Popelik monster is a local myth in the area and has many theories as to what it is. And some say it is a freak of nature and a goat-human hybrid, while others say it is the reincarnation of a farmer who used to sacrifice goats for satanic powers, and strangely, there have been a large number of deaths on the bridge. Dartmoor Beast In the Dartmoor area of the UK, people reported seeing a cryptid they described as an alien big cat. Not much is known about the Dartmoor Beast, but it is described as being a very large black beige cat or dog-like animal. It has allegedly attacked livestock multiple times in Dartmoor. And the earliest sightings of the Dartmoor Beast began in 1988 and stopped around the mid-2000s. Some theories about the Dartmoor Beast is that it is simply just an escaped zoo animal or a legally imported exotic animal. Lizard Man also known as the Lizard Man of Scape or Swamp. The Lizard Man is a reptilian humanoid cryptid said to live in the swampy areas in Lee County, South Carolina. The Lizard Man is described to stand at 7 feet tall and move incredibly fast through the muddy swamp. It is also allegedly very powerful, having the strength to tear apart metal with its bare hands. The Lizard Man is also said to be covered in green scales and has many reptilian and dinosaur-like qualities and features. Many people who encountered the Lizard Man mention its glowing red eyes. The earliest sightings of the Lizard Man happened on June 29, 1988, where a teenager claimed to have been chased by the Lizard Man while attempting to change a tire. Mishipeshu Mishipeshu, also known as the Underwater Panther, Mishipeshu is a mythical creature 
whose story is told by indigenous Native American tribes surrounding the Great Lakes area that speak of Jiwe. Mishipeshu translates to the Great Lynx, and it is regarded as one of the most important water beings by the natives who know of Mishipeshu. Mishipeshu is described as having the head and paws of a big cat, the antlers of a deer, or horns of a bison. But the body of Mishipeshu is covered in scales and has a row of spikes running down its back. It is said to live on the island of Michipecoten in Lake Superior. Mishipeshu is believed by some to be the natural polar opposite of the Thunderbird, another Native American cryptid mentioned earlier in this video. The Mishipeshu is generally looked at as a protective spirit of the lakes and rivers. It is said that it has been known to attack people who try to take resources from lakes or demands resources, or sacrifices for protection while crossing a body of water. Orang Pendek, also known as Uhang Pandak, Orang Pendek is a bipedal ape that lives in the jungles of Sumatra Island. Orang Pendek is described as standing between 3 to 6 feet tall, and descriptions vary. It is said to be covered in short, dark reddish fur that sometimes can appear gray or black. Orang Pendek is believed to be peaceful for the most part, being an omnivore, but not having a history of attacking humans. Orang Pendek is known by witnesses to have remarkable strength being able to uproot small trees and break thick tree branches with ease. Orang Pendek is known to occasionally raid crop fields for potatoes and fruit. Nandi Bear, also known as Kemaset or Demon by Witnesses. The Nandi Bear is a cryptid said to live in the highlands of western Kenya. The Nandi Bear is described as a mix between multiple big cats that can be found across Africa, being described as big as a lion and having the sloping back of a hyena. Its face is said to have a very strong jaw and neck with large fangs in its mouth. The fur of the Nandi bear is said to vary from a tawny gingery brown color to a rich dark brown. Most encounters of the Nandi bear are from the early 1900s where most encounters report the Nandi bear being an elusive creature leaving as soon as it sees humans. But there are a couple reports of the Nandi bear attacking humans. Boggy Creek Monster also known as Southern Sasquatch and the Folk Monster, the Boggy Creek Monster is said to be a very large ape humanoid that lives in the woods and swamps of Folk, Arkansas. What sets the Boggy Creek Monster apart from being another Bigfoot sighting? The Boggy Creek Monster is said to have very long arms, glowing red eyes, and is known for being incredibly violent and hostile towards humans. Footprints have been found in the area, none of which belong to any documented existing primate or bear-like creature. Sightings of the Boggy Creek Monster go as far back as the year 1946. Dingbat The Dingbat is a North American woodland cryptid seen primarily in the 19th century and 20th century around Rice Lake in Wisconsin. The Dingbat is described as a large bat or bird-like creature with deer antlers on its head. It is said to fly very fast and is known as a trickster cryptid, which is said to eat bullets fired at it steal ammo from hunters, and drink gasoline supplies of hunters as well. Ozark Howler The Ozark Howler is known by many names including the Nightshade Bear, the Ozark Black Howler, and the Devil Cat. The Ozark Howler is a cryptid said to roam the remote parts of Arkansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Texas. The Ozark Howler is described as being the size of a bear and having the build of a bear with a stocky midsection stocky legs and covered in black, shaggy fur. But the Ozark Howler has horns on its head. Although many people write off the Ozark Howler as a hoax, some theorize that the Ozark Howler is actually a real cryptid and may be some sort of unnatural hybrid between a black bear, bison, or a wolf. Bunyip The Bunyip is a cryptid rooted in Aboriginal Australian folklore of southeastern Australia. The Bunyip is said to hide in swamps, riverbeds, creeks, ponds, and other small bodies of water. The word bunyip in aboriginal language can be translated to devil or evil spirit. Descriptions of the bunyip can vary widely, with different aboriginal tribes having different ideas of what the bunyip looks like. The most popular descriptions are that the bunyips are large seal-dog hybrids, always black or dark colored with faces similar, similar to bulldogs. And the other, most popular description is that the bunyip is a black otter-like creature and has a long neck with a small bulldog-esque head. The bunyips are said to feed on crayfish, 
and be generally peaceful by some interpretations, but other interpretations claim bunyips are predators to humans and will target primarily women and children. The bunyip also made aboriginals wary of unfamiliar bodies of water. Ninjin The Ninjin is a cryptid started by Japanese arctic whale researchers. The Ninjin is said to be an aquatic humanoid. The Ninjin is said to live in the icy waters surrounding Antarctica. The Ninjin are described as massive humanoid creatures that swim in the waters. They are described as completely pale white, having arms and legs with five digits, and their faces lacking features except for two eye holes and a mouth slit. Some sightings describe them with four fins or one large fish-like tail. They are estimated to be around 70 to 90 feet in length, and not much is known about this cryptid since they are very elusive. But according to rumors, the Japanese government apparently has detailed accounts of witnesses and has instructed them to deny and keep quiet about what they saw. Agagwe, also known as Kakundakari or Kilomba, the Agagwe is an ape human cryptid said to live in the forests and jungles of East Africa. The Agagwe is believed to be a small population of cryptids, and the Agagwe are described as small human ape like hybrids ranging between 2 to 5 feet tall and having human-like features. They are said to have yellow, reddish skin with patches of brown hair covering their bodies. Not much is known about the Ogagwe since most sightings of them have been from explorers or hunters in remote parts of the jungles in East Africa during the early 1900s. Some theorize that they are a surviving species of Australopithecine, a primate who lived over 2.5 million years ago and was an early ancestor to modern humans. Bat Beast of Kent, sometimes also referenced as a UFO encounter, the Bat Beast of Kent is a mysterious creature that was seen multiple times by eyewitnesses in Kent County, an area in southeast England around mid-November 1963. The beast is described as a 5 foot tall bat creature with no head. Its legs are webbed and sit under a stocky torso which has no arms and has large bat like wings that start at the beast's shoulders. It has a dark black color all over its body which consists of fur and skin. Strangely, the beast was never seen alone wandering the wilderness. It was always seen by witnesses soon after seeing UFO activity in an empty field and after going to investigate running into the bat beast, leaving the area near the UFO activity. Ahul, also known as Athul, Ahul is a cryptid said to live deep in the jungles of Java and has been seen all over Indonesia. Ahul is described to be a massive bat creature or even a winged flying monkey. The name Ahul was given to it by its distinct cry, which sounds like an Ahul sound. The Ahul's face is said to resemble both a chimpanzee and a bat. It is said to have a wingspan of 18 feet. The Ahul is most known for attacking livestock, fish, and sometimes humans if it feels they are invading its territory. Deer Man The Deer Man is a cryptid who has been sighted very rarely across the US, including states like Ohio, Delaware, and Oklahoma. The Deer Man is a humanoid deer cryptid. Descriptions of the deer man say that it has the head of a grown male deer with antlers, the torso of a man with very long arms, and the lower body of either a man or deer legs designed to support bipedal movement. It is also said to have the ability to shift forms between a normal human man and a normal deer. The deer man sightings have mainly been passive because people who see him are so off put by the sight of him, they retreat immediately in silence. But there was one encounter where a group of friends taking night photos in the wilderness of Oklahoma were allegedly chased by the deer man. Kalinoro The Kalinoro is said to be a small humanoid population all over the island of Madagascar. Although sightings are very rare to explorers and researchers, native tribes and communities in Madagascar claim to see them quite frequently and believe in them to the fullest. The Kalinoro are said to be small humanoids standing around two feet tall and are covered in fur. They are known to abduct children and also raid villages for food. They are also believed to possess supernatural abilities or even be spirits of nature. 
They are even rooted in mythology and are said to have been on the island of Madagascar before mankind ever arrived. U-28 Monster The U-28 Monster is the name given to an unidentified sea monster spotted during early World War I in the North Atlantic Ocean. German U-boat SM U-28 had torpedoed and downed a British steam steamer named the Iberian. After confirming their attack was successful and watching the British steamer sink into the ocean, debris shot up out of the water along with a large sea creature. Multiple members of the crew claimed to have seen the same creature which they could not identify. The monster was described as an enormous crocodile, about 60 feet in length and having four legs which were webbed for traveling through water. The crew was not able to photograph or sketch the monster since it flew into the air and then quickly sank down into the ocean, never to be seen again. Some people believe it may have been a real sea monster, an undiscovered species, or a surviving specimen of Pliosaurus or Mosasaurus. Zantigeba The Zantigeba is a Mali cryptid rooted in folklore. The name Zantigeba can be translated to the words he with big paws. The Zantigeba is believed to be a demonic baboon creature that terrorizes the villages of Mali. Some areas in modern day Mali actually host annual festivals and celebrations for Zantigeba which is supposed to appease him and prevent him from further terrorizing the villages in present day. Naga All over South Asia, the Naga are believed by multiple people to be divine beings that can also take the form of humans and roam the earth as demigod figures. The Naga are believed to take three separate forms including regular humans, regular snakes, or serpent-human hybrids. The Naga are mentioned in Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism, and Jainism. The Naga are believed to be holy figures across South Asia and are generally associated with religious beliefs. Jengla The Jengla is an Indonesian cryptid and can be described as a small human doll that is alive. Jenglots are believed to be found in any location in Indonesia and especially on the island of Java. People who find a Jenglot can choose to look after it. Those who are caretakers of a jenglot state that they consume blood, either blood of humans or livestock, but that they won't do it in front of anyone. It has to be left out for them, and jenglot caretakers believe that they come alive in the dead of night when no one is watching and drink the blood. It is not very well known what the purpose of a jenglot is outside of the culture, since they are very rare even in Indonesia, but folklore and beliefs state that the jenglot are humans who have dedicated themselves to the eternal way of life and take the form of a jengla. Others believe that jenglots are created from humans who self-isolated and worshipped demons to gain supernatural powers. Sasabonsum The Sasabonsum is a vampiric entity that the Akan people of West Africa believe in. The Sasabonsum is said to have teeth made of iron, pale pink skin, long stringy red hair and hooks for feet. The Sasabonsum lives in the treetops and attacks people traveling through the woodlands on the forest floor. The Sasabonsum is also said to have wings which can reach 20 feet in wingspan. It's believed the Sasabonsum's attacks are purely territorial and has no real problem with humans. Water Babajan Also known as Fudu, the Water Babajan is a South African cryptid. The name Water Babajan can be translated to Water Baboon. Descriptions of the water babajan claim that it is pretty much an abnormally large baboon standing at six feet tall and mainly traveling on its hind legs, which compared to regular baboons that only stand at around two or three feet tall and almost exclusively tra traverse on all fours is pretty strange. It is also said to be very elusive and lives in solitude, traveling cave to cave near rivers and behind waterfalls. It is also known to creep around farms and attack livestock. Beast of Tunbridge Wells Also known as the Kentish Ape Man, the Beast of Tunbridge Wells is described as a Bigfoot-like creature standing at 8 feet tall and having glowing red eyes and very long arms. The creature has not been spotted many times, but when it has been spotted, 
It is always around the county of Kent in England. The creature was first seen during World War II in the area. Abarimon. The Abarimon are believed to be a race of humanoid creatures living in the highest and most remote part of the Himalaya mountains. In Nepal, the Abarimon do not have any outlandish features and appear completely human, except for their feet, which are said to be on backwards, with their toes pointing behind them. Despite backwards feet, the Abarimon are said to be very agile and quick on their backwards feet, hunting animals in the Himalayas. Apparently, they were mentioned in writings from explorers when they had attempted to capture an Abarimon. But all of the Abarimon are apparently very savage and begin to thrash and free themselves from any traps. Capilobo The Capilobo is a cryptid from Brazil, more specifically in the states of Para and Maranao. The name Capilobo comes from two words, Cape, which is an Amerindian word meaning broken bone, and Lobo, which is Portuguese for wolf. The Capilobo is said to have two forms, one of which is pretty much a normal tapir and their humanoid form, which is a hybrid between anteater, tapir, and human, standing at 6 feet 7 inches tall, having a human male torso with a thick dark colored hide around his shoulders, and the head being described as a cross between a tapir and some pig features. The humanoid form is said to be very muscular and be covered in skin that makes the Capilobo very hard to injure or penetrate. The Capilobo is said to have a horrid smell that can cause dizziness and headaches. Its cry is said to be heard for miles and fill people with paralyzing fear. The Capilobo is believed to actually not hunt humans, but instead prefers small animals and small children, but will attack humans if an opportunity presents itself. It is said to pierce humans' skulls and consume their brains or slit a human's throat and drink blood from their necks. Legend in the area claims that if an elderly person goes to die in the wilderness alone, they will transform into a Capilobo. Nixie The Nixie are a cryptid that is believed to exist in bodies of water across Europe, primarily in England, Germany, and Scandinavia, all with their own interpretations of the Nixie. Nordic interpretation of the Nixie claim that they are male water spirits that play instruments and sing songs to lure people to the body of water they live in for companionship or to drown them. Another popular interpretation of the Nixie are the Faroe Islands interpretation, which are said to be able to take the form of a beautiful horse standing in shallow water, and when people approach to pet or feed it, the horse then turns and runs underwater, drowning anybody who has touched it. The Faroe Islands interpretation believes that the Nixie is also able to take the form of any four-legged creature and even a human man, which is said to attempt to attract women with his looks and lies about love and romance. The German interpretation of the Nixie believes that there are both male and female Nixie appearing as merpeople and attempt to lure men and women into the water to drown them. Fear Gorta. The Fear Gorta is a being said to roam the Irish countryside in ancient times. The Fear Gorta is described as a starved man with greenish skin and with gaunt features and rotting flesh. The Fear Gorta is said to appear in times of famine or in locations where inhuman and immoral actions were happening and also where sacred grounds were being desecrated or disrespected. The Fear Gorta was known not to discriminate a person by class or any other condition. It is said that it would be seen roaming and begging for food, and if anyone were to deny it, or even worse, attack the fear of Gorza, it's believed that he would curse them with bad luck and an insatiable appetite. On the other hand, he was said to be very generous to the people who fed him. Nuckleby The Nuckleby is a Scottish cryptid believed to be a malevolent spirit slash entity seen primarily in the Orkney Island of Northern Scotland. The Nuckleby is said to be a sea monster that takes the form of a horse when it ventures onto land. It has apparently never been seen in the ocean, so its encounters and descriptions are all based off of the Nuckleby's landform. The landform of the Nuckleby is said to be a horse, but on the horse's saddle area, a man's torso is attached, but there are no legs. The man's torso extends from the horse, making them one single creature. The Nuckleby is said to have no skin, with all of its muscles and veins being completely exposed and visible. Other finer details vary widely, since most people are stricken with fear at the sight of the Nuckleby. 
The presence and air alone of the Nakulavi was said to bring fear, disease, and unexplained phenomena in turbulent weather to the island of Orkney. Huludu Folk Staying close to the last segment, the Huludu Folk are believed to be a race of elves living in Iceland and the Faroe Islands. They are believed to be supernatural beings that live in a parallel dimension, being able to jump in and out of our reality at will, which would appear as invisibility. They appear completely human in appearance, but are just very small statured. The Huludu folk are intertwined deeply in religious theories that vary from region to region as to what they may be or how they came to be. Greenock Catman The Greenock Catman is a human man believed to have become feral and lives in the town of Greenock in Scotland. His origins are that he was believed to be a Russian sailor and after the ship he was on docked in Greenock, he supposedly abandoned his post and his tour. Many people believe it is because of his deteriorating mental health and constant fights with other sailors. Being left behind and stranded, after abandoning his ship, he turned to begging. But not long after begging, he was attacked by a group of teenagers and reportedly had his jaw and legs broken viciously. He refused medical treatment and instead chose to resort to crawling and dragging himself across the ground. The name Catman comes from a rumor either that he ended up being taken in by a family of wildcats or that he himself thinks he is a cat. The sightings of Catman have become sparse and one picture exists of him where he is covered in soot, dirt, and or motor oil with a dead rat in his mouth. He is believed to still roam the area of Greenock and hides under cars and buses or in vegetation. Dark Watchers The Dark Watchers are said to be a group of unreachable, human-like beings that stand on the hills, ridges, and peaks of the mountains in California and Arizona. More specifically, the Santa Lucia Mountains and Mount Mingus and Mount Graham. Their existence and sightings go as far back as the Chumash Native American sightings of them. Usually, Native American folklore and legends have an understanding of spirits or entities surrounding specific landmarks. Not even Native American tribes have contacted them, spoken to them, or even know what their purpose is. The Dark Watchers are said to just observe people on the mountainside and never approach or make any advance towards the people. No one has ever gotten close enough to speak to a Dark Watchman or even get a good look at them, but they are said to wear large coats and hats. People who have seen them usually look away for a second, and when they look back, the Dark Watcher is gone, vanishing into thin air, and sightings are reported even in present day. But no one has any idea who or what the Dark Watchers are or what they want. If you made it this far into the video, Thank you for watching. So now that we have finished the iceberg, feel free to let me know in the comments what you thought. Do you have your own encounters with any of these cryptids? Do you think some could be real? Thank you for watching.